Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Uh, today's topic is uh, MERS. Uh, uh, coronavirus. Uh, this is also known as Middle Eastern Respiratory Syndrome coronavirus, you know, infection. And uh, it's a new novel uh, coronavirus that caused uh, a severe acute respiratory infection, uh, which was uh, first identified in Saudi Arabia in September 2012. And uh, the infection appears to be the result of spread of the virus from the camels to the humans, you know, uh, resulting in uh, limited person to person spread, but uh, not sustained transmission in humans, you know. And the largest outbreak uh, of the Arabian uh, Peninsula occurred in the Republic of Korea in 2015. And it was linked to a traveler returning from the uh, Gulf, you know, the Middle East, you know. And MERS uh, uh, coronavirus uh, is a type of uh, coronavirus similar to the one that caused the uh, SARS, which is uh, uh, the abbreviation of uh, the severe acute respiratory syndrome, you know, and uh, a common cold. Now, MERS uh, uh, coronavirus has not been uh, uh, like. Uh, previously identified in the humans and uh, like the SARS virus the MERS virus uh, is most similar to the coronaviruses found in the bats you know and it has been detected in the camels and uh, several cases of uh, uh, this uh, in those who handle the camels have been reported and uh, other livestock do not uh, seem to be affected you know the infection can be spread from person to person through respiratory secretions and uh, it may be transmitted from the camels to the humans and uh, those who handle the camels are at higher risk of getting the infection than the people who do not have the regular uh, close contact with the camels you know and the infected people have uh, the symptoms of uh, flu-like illnesses uh, which may be followed by uh, pneumonia, uh, atypical pneumonia, uh, including uh, like uh, fever and uh, shortness of breath. And uh, the gastrointestinal symptoms may occur sometimes, you know. And uh, severely affected the people experience uh, respiratory failure and uh, may need the mechanical ventilation. And uh, uh, other people and uh, those who, uh, those with underlying illnesses, are at a high risk for the severe disease. Uh, in 2014, uh, the MERS uh, coronavirus was diagnosed in the United States in two individuals. And, uh, uh, and all those two were not uh, the, uh, related to each other, you know. And both were travel, uh, uh, travelers who lived and worked in Saudi Arabia. And uh, uh, both for healthcare workers, you know, and uh, other countries uh, outside of Arabia, uh, Arabian or Gulf states, you know, uh, like the surrounding countries have been detected uh, uh, MERS uh, COV only in the travelers from these areas, you know. Now, uh, this viral infection uh, should be suspected in the travelers from the uh, Arabian states or the neighboring countries with uh, symptoms. Uh, compatible with the MERS COV occurring within 10 days of traveling, you know. And uh, if there are grounds of suspicion, and the public health authorities need to be uh, informed immediately. And uh, the similar to the SARS, there is no uh, medication that uh, is known uh, to treat this viral infection. You know. And uh, uh, most of the time, uh, uh, the treatment is supportive. Uh, it's just to control the symptoms. Uh, 
in 2003, the SARS outbreak, approximately 25% of the people have severe respiratory failure and about 10% died. Uh, in contrast, major, um, mortality in the MERS is higher at about 50%. So it's quite serious um, infection, you know. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more informative videos every day. Thank you and goodbye.